to be nice even when others are not nice. Well, it is so beautiful out tonight. It's not quite sunset. And um, it's just really beautiful. And I am out here slowly taking a run. I'm going to start my run in a second. And I usually do my runs in the morning, but we've had such a busy couple days that I'm just doing my run a little bit later. Normally I run all the way to the pier and back. So the pier, from the lighthouse to the pier. So it's really, really beautiful. Gorgeous evening. It's a bit chilly, but I've got shorts and a t-shirt on, sort of. Learn to be kind, even when others are not. You know, so often people are not kind. And then we wonder, then we think, okay, maybe we're not meant to be kind. And I believe that we are meant to be kind, even when others are not. I'm not saying we're a pushover or a or let anyone ever abuse us. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm believing in a response of being kind, if at all possible. You know, I was going through a drive through and the uh, people that work there were not real friendly and they were not real, um, real nice. And I just became the nicer that they were, the less nice I became nicer. Because I often think that what happens is people are just so used to dealing with people who are not nice that they become not nice too, even to nice people. So think about being kind. Think about being thoughtful. Think about just being nice. Just being nice. And, you know, it's amazing what a little bit of niceness can do. It can have powerful, powerful effects. And so I work at being nice. I work at being kind. I work at being thoughtful, even to people that are not, if at all possible. Because often, that's all it takes to turn someone's life around. They are so used to people being nasty to them that now they're nasty back. And so I truly, truly believe in being kind and thoughtful if and when possible. From my house to yours, or from my ocean to yours, from, Ty from Tybee Island to wherever you're at, may God bless you and hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye. And this is the old historic bakery and that's here on Tybee Island. It's real close to our house and they converted it into a home but it was I believe a historic bakery and it's just beautiful they did a beautiful job on it beautiful evening out just finished my run it was wonderful 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 yeah sun is starting to set now yep the birds are chirping it's all beautiful so I am home we have several of these great big planters here, and we don't know quite what we're going to do with them yet, but uh, um, they're huge. They're huge, so we're going to probably put in some new plants. I am not sure what kind of plants these are, but my husband knows, so we're going to plant those too, or put those up. Now we're back home. These are our back stairs, and they're kind of an aqua color. An aqua color. They're pretty. So I just got back from uh, Wendy's. I drove off the island. We don't really have fast food except for one here on the island. I don't normally eat fast food, but um, my boys are at the ocean um, fishing and um, my husband and I were renovating and he couldn't leave because we had the cable man here. So I got all kinds of goodies in here. <laughs> and we're gonna sit out here. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day.